Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you can apply formatting to a shape, you need to click it in order to select it. If selecting a text box or word art as a shape, ensure that you click on its border so that the border appears as a solid and not dashed line. That indicates that the shape itself has been selected. Once the shape has been selected, you will see the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab appear in the ribbon. This tab provides you with several formatting options for the selected object. At the left end of the Format tab in the Drawing Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon is the Insert Shapes group. The large scroll box within this group contains quick access to the shapes that you can insert and functions in the exact same way that the Shapes button on the Insert tab does. To the right of that are two additional buttons, the Edit Shape button and the Draw Text Box button. For shapes that are drawn by hand, such as the Scribble, you can click the Edit Shape button after you finish drawing the object in order to display the editing points of the object. You can then click and drag the points in order to change the shape of the object. Now you can click the Draw Text Box button to draw a text box in your document. This button functions the same way as the Draw Text Box button that you can select from the Text Box button on the Insert tab in the ribbon does. Now in the Shape Styles section, you can make stylistic changes to your shape that affect the appearance of the fill and the line of the shape. You can scroll through the choices shown in the large scroll box of preset shape appearances and click on the one that you would like to apply to your shape. You can also simply use the buttons available to the right of the scroll box to customize the appearance of your shape. You can use the Shape Fill drop-down to fill the inside of your shape with one of the many available colors, pictures, gradients, or textures available. Note that this button is unavailable for shapes that do not contain any fillable area, such as lines and arrows. If you wish to select a fill color, then you can simply click on one of the color choices shown in the Shape Fill button's drop-down menu. If the colors shown aren't quite what you need, Notice that you can select the More Fill Colors command in order to open the Colors dialog box. In the Colors dialog box, you can create almost any color that you desire. You can either click the Standard tab and then select one of the colors shown on the Honeycomb of Color Choices, or you can click the Custom tab and then select the color that you want. Note that at the bottom of both tabs, you can use the Transparency slider to set the level of transparency that you want to apply. If you open to the Color dialog box, click the OK button once you've made a choice in order to apply the selected color. Note that if you did apply a fill effect to a shape, and then wish to remove it, you can select the No Fill command in the Shape Fill button's drop-down menu in order to remove any fill effect. You can also insert a picture into your shape as a fill effect. To do this, you would choose the Picture command from the Shape Fill button's drop-down menu of choices in order to open the Select Picture dialog box. Here you can navigate to and then select the picture that you want to use as the fill effect for the selected shape. You can select a gradient to apply to the selected shape by rolling your mouse pointer over the gradient command in the Shape Fill button's drop-down menu and then clicking on the preset gradient that you want to apply to the shape. If you want to add a texture to a shape, then choose the Texture command from the Shape Fill button's drop-down menu and then click on the texture that you want to apply from the choices shown in the side menu.
Now back in the Shape Styles group on the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, you will also find the Shape Outline drop-down button. The choices that you make here affect the appearance of the lines within the shape. This is also the button that you can use to alter the appearance of shapes that are nothing more than lines, such as the line shape or the arrow shape. Now if you click the Shape Outline button, you will see that you can easily select a color shown in the color palette of choices in order to change the line color of your selected shape. If you want to remove the line color, you can select the No Outline choice from the Shape Outline button's drop-down menu. If you want to change the width of your shape's outline, then make a selection from the side menu of choices that appear when you roll your mouse pointer over the Weight command in the Shape Outline button's drop-down menu. Likewise, you can choose a different dash style by rolling over the Dashes command in the drop-down menu. Now if you are formatting a line shape or an arrow shape, then you can change the end points on the line or arrow by making a choice from the side menu that appears when you roll your mouse pointer over the arrows command in the shape outline button's drop down menu of choices. Now back in the shape styles group on the format tab of the drawing tools contextual tab in the ribbon, you'll also see the shape effects button. You can click this button to view a drop-down listing of the various preset effects, grouped by category, that you can apply to the selected shape. Simply roll over the desired category within the drop-down menu, and then click on the desired category setting in the side menu that appears. Now if you have word art or a text box selected in your slide, then you can apply the style settings that are shown in the Word Art Styles group on the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Now you can select a desired word art style from the listing shown in the scroll box within this group. You can click the Text Fill drop-down button to select a fill effect for the text within the text box or word art from the drop-down menu. The choices that you have displayed here are the same choices that you have when you click the Shape Fill button in the Shape Styles group. You can next click the Text Outline drop-down button to select an outline effect for the text within your selected text box or word art from the drop-down menu. Once again, the choices that you have displayed here are the same choices that you have when you click the Shape Outline button in the Shape Styles group. You can click the Text Effects drop-down button to select a special effect for the text within your selected text box or word art from the drop-down menu. And the choices that you have displayed here are the same choices that you have when you click the Shape Effects button in the Shape Styles group. Now the button shown in the Arrange group on the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab display the same options that you have available when formatting pictures and clip art. In the Arrange group, you will find buttons that allow you to change the placement, alignment, and rotation of the selected shape. If you have overlapping shapes in your slide, you can click the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down buttons in order to change the order in which the shapes overlap each other within the stack. You can click the Align button in order to choose from one of the available alignment options. The Group button is used if you have multiple drawn shapes simultaneously selected in your slide. 
In this case, you can click the Group button to group the individual shapes together as a single unit. Note that you can also click the Group button for a shape that's been grouped together and then select the Ungroup command to break the shapes back into their separate components. You can click the Rotate button to select a rotation option for the selected shape within your slide. Also, like images, you can use the Size section to resize the shape if desired. You can use the spinner arrows at the right end of either the Shape Height or Shape Width text boxes to increase or decrease the height or width of the selected shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.